Hey Fruit Bats, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So today's topic is menstruation, monthlies, period, whatever you like to call it. So I think I have a lot of experience on this because I've had my period on a sad diet, on a raw vegan diet, on a vegan diet, and I also lost my period on a raw vegan diet. So when I first came to 100% raw food diet, raw vegan diet, that was back in 2007, January. And as soon as I came onto the lifestyle, like within the first month, I lost my period. It was gone. And I was like, yes, get out of here. I don't want to see you ever again. Don't come back now, you hear? <laughs> That's how I was because I was so excited to get rid of it because I'm coming from this past of heavy period, pain, discomfort, depression, associated with my menstrual flow because I'm eating animal products and I'm eating junk food and everything like that. So I was very, very happy. So the period went away for nine months and then I fell off the wagon, fell off the wagon back into high fat vegan food and my period came back. So was it that that brought my period back? Well, it's hard to say because at the same time, I actually got with Harley Jurin Rider and that can also affect your hormonal levels a lot. So I'm not 100% sure why it came back, but it came back and I went back onto 100% raw vegan and it came back lightly. So initially it was heavy from the high fat and then it went light. And light as in about half a cup of a menstrual cup of blood each day for a couple of days and then the third day was basically gone. So I was only having a period for like three days and that's how it was for years and years and years. And it was great. I didn't know when it was coming because it was so you know, painless when it was there. I hardly even knew I had it. It was fantastic. So rewind back to you know why I lost my period in the first place. I think because I was coming from taking a contraceptive pill for seven years every day for seven years so my hormonal levels were quite crazy so what I feel is that my period when I took out the meat and dairy and the junk food my body finally had the energy the vitality to start cleaning house to start balancing out my hormones and a lot of people are like oh but that's unhealthy no no you need your period what's going on you know that's terrible but is it well a lot of people don't know and all I can go on is my instincts and my feeling at the time that it felt good. It felt right and at the time I think it needed to happen for my body to balance out. One thing that is really really important is to find out if you do lose your period are you still ovulating and for some reason you know I just instinctively felt like I was still ovulating because I felt so good and that's another thing if it's so unhealthy to you know for me to go through that period of not having my period, then why did I feel so amazing? Why was everything starting to look amazing, my skin, my hair, everything was starting to really, really balance out. So is it healthy long term to not have a period? Well, there's a lot of different opinions on this and I don't claim to have all the answers, I can only share my own experience. What I do believe is healthy is a light flow and that's what is observed, has been observed in primates and nature. So that light flow, I mean mega light and not painful. I mean, I always thought when I was young, I'm like, why is this so painful? Why did God, you know, why did nature inflict this awful pain on us females every month? It doesn't seem right. That's what my intuition said, even from a very young age. And I still believe that largely menstruation is toxicity leaving the body. So a lot of people are having these heavy, a lot of women are having heavy, heavy periods and you know, painful periods because they they have a toxic body or they have a toxic diet, and the body's trying to eliminate that toxicity and you know, get it out. Because I used to have like blood clots, like clots of blood I used to pass with my menstruation, and that just it, it was a lot to do with fat. So another thing is, if you're having a high fat diet, okay, if you're having a high fat diet, then your menstruation is definitely going to be heavier and more painful. This is what I have experienced whenever I've increased the amount of fat in my diet, even on a 100% raw food diet. So you must keep the fat low if you want a light flow and if you want pain free periods. So there's also am amenorrhea, which is like low body fat when women lose their period due to low body fat. Is 
that healthy? I don't 100% know, but usually it's done by, it's happened, it happens to women who, you know, are exercising excessively or starving themselves, so generally not. At the end of the day, if you're having a heavy period, if you're having a, a painful period, then get on 100% high carb, raw vegan diet as soon as you can. Cook vegan, high carb cook vegan diet is good, it is not the best though. But 100% high carb, low fat raw vegan is the best. It is amazing. So give it a go, ladies. If you've got any comments below, I'm trying to keep this kind of short. You know, I could talk for a long time on it, and maybe I'll do a part two. But if you've got any comments, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try and answer them. And I'm thinking about tomorrow's video now. So if you find this, if you found this information helpful, then please take a moment to press the like button. It helps me to spread the message. Don't forget to go for it or it yourself, and I'll see you then. Bye. Banana Girl Go free to yourself.